What issues do you think might have come up in? Discussion? I think if we had had a discussion before going into this, the issue that I referred to earlier of our prime risk on the services risk register would have come into focus and would have been a subject of some discussion. The worry that if this did not go well, it might lead to a loss of confidence in the service, was, you. Yeah. No, a prime risk and, as I said, I don't think that was properly addressed at the time. Obviously other issues would have arisen. I suspect at the end of the day, however, maybe I shouldn't be too much drawn into hypothetical scenarios, but I'm not aware that there would have been any mechanism or rationale whereby we could at the end of the day have refused to take part in such an undertaking. After all, we were an agency of government, and it was government that wished to do this. But the question of the exposure of SIS could have been. 1. In terms of whether the quality of your information was good enough. Yes. And. 2. Being seen to endorse a particular foreign policy. Well, I don't think that involvement in the dossier would necessarily have been interpreted as supporting a particular foreign policy. It wasn't for SIS to make judgments about what was. But that turned out to be a risk. Indeed it was, but it wasn't for SIS. You don't think that was the one that? It was more a question of the effect on your sources of information and how you were perceived in terms of the intelligence provider? That would have been a concern. I think the appropriateness of the exercise would certainly have been an issue that might have been discussed. But as I said, at the end of the day, SIS collected the intelligence for HMG. It's not as if we had separate ownership of this product. Did you get reassurances from number 10 about how the exercise would be conducted? At the end of the day, we did in terms of an assurance that nothing would be put in that dossier if we were absolutely convinced that it would be a mistake to do so, that it would jeopardize sensitive sources or methods or otherwise compromise capabilities. That assurance was given on a number of occasions. And was stuff excluded on that basis? At the end of the day, I don't believe it was. Were you aware of concerns from the cabinet office about the quality of the intelligence? Actually no, I wasn't. Did they think you were withholding anything? Were you aware of that sort of issue? If they were, they didn't say anything to me about that. It says there had been excellent cooperation. So as far as you were concerned, it was fine? As I said, there were certainly some concerns on the SIS side about the way in which so much material was being put into the public domain. But that was the main concern of which I was aware. And how actively were SISP Opel involved in the drafting process? Admitting text, commenting on text and so on? They were, of course, inevitably. There was a lot of interchange. Again, I would struggle to provide an exact chronology for that. It was going on pretty much the whole time. So they were closely involved? Yes. Can you recall any particular concerns about language in the dossier? Whether it was going too far, too simplistic, whatever? I think there were from the outset concerns that subsequently became articulated in the Butler report about the extent to which the intelligence could support some of the judgments that were being made. That's certainly the case, yes. Can you recall any particular examples of that? Not off the top of my head. I'm afraid I would have to go back in great more detail than I have been able to do. I think it would be quite helpful. If you did get a chance.